We, we hunt uh, about 850 acres. Um, most of that land is cedar swamps, thick wood lots. Um, we've got some old ridges, food plots. Um, we do have two lodges. Uh, we generally try to put one group in a lodge and, and you know, if we have two groups kind of hunt at the same time, they'll get the second lodge. Our lodges, each lodge will hold seven, eight guys and we've got plenty of land to hunt, you know, 15 people at a time. Thing here too. Nice Easter eggs in there. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a heck of a specimen right there. Yeah, it's a nice buck. Alright. Congratulations, John. Thank you. Thank you. It's more than I hoped for. <laughs> we got some bucks. We, we just Came up with the nickname Legendary Bucks because these bucks are legendary in our property. They've, they've been bucks, we've been hunting hard for two or three, four years sometimes, and uh, they just seem to find a way to make it through the hunting season year after year after year. And uh, they're, it's, it's fun for us because these are the type of bucks that our guides and our hunters love going after, but yet we more often than not lose the battle as we try to, to, to harvest these you know, smart, mature whitetails. So yeah, it's it's a cool concept and, and it seems like every year we're getting more legendary bucks, more bucks that make it through the hunting season. Uh, some of these bucks are some of the prettiest bucks we have on the property, just they're never seen during daylight.
Madrid. This is a big bug. Like, really big. <laughs> that looks like baseball bats. He's sweet. He's wide, long beams, massive. Awesome deer. It's not broke, it's just short. And it looks, it's not short, really, it's just because these beams are big around. Sweet buck, Rick. Huh? Sweet buck. <laughs> yeah, he got a little bigger. <laughs> 